Hi there everyone, my name is Adwer Pipao and today we are going to talk about the importance of preparing your heart before studying the Bible. The question is, is often asked, what must I do before I study the Bible? The very first thing you must do before you study the Bible is to prepare your heart. How do I prepare my heart? Number one, have the right attitude towards the study of the Bible. You should have the right intention when you want to study the Bible. What is it that is driving you to study the Bible? What is it that you want to achieve by studying the Bible? So, so you should have a right attitude towards the study of the Bible. Number two, you should be at the right state of mind for you to study the Bible. You shouldn't be negative about studying the Bible, especially if you don't believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. So you should have a positive attitude, a positive mindset towards the Bible. And number three, you must be at your right state of mood. You cannot study the Bible with a moody with a moody behavior, you are not going to be benefited. So, like any other special activity that happens in our society that requires preparation, so it is the study of the Bible. For example, athletes, they don't get into the stadium, run and compete with their opponents without having what? Special preparation for that event. Likewise, a pastor will not get in front of God's people, deliver a powerful message that will bring people to God without what? Without preparing. So it is, a Bible student must prepare his heart before he embarks on studying the Bible. Whether you are going to do a contextual study of the Bible, whether a biographical study of the Bible, whether a topical study of the Bible, or maybe it's just a normal devotion, it requires you still to prepare your heart before you study the Bible. Now we are going to talk about the reasons why you should, why you should prepare your heart before you study the Bible. Normally, if we study the Bible without preparing our hearts, we are only going to be benefited mentally and not spiritually. The study of the Bible is different from any study of any subject. For example, a high school subject. It is different from studying mathematics and geography. Normally these subjects, they only appeal to us mentally and not spiritual. But the study of the Bible, it appeals to us both mentally and spiritual. So for us to be impacted by the power of God's will, we have to prepare our hearts for the study of the Bible. If we look in the Bible, those who neglected hard preparation in the study of the Word of God are described as hypocrites. If we read Matthew chapter 15 from verse 7 to verse 9, Christ describes the Pharisees to be hypocrites because they were people who only drew nigh to God with their lips, yet their hearts were far from God. In other words, these people, they profess truth. These people manifested intellectual knowledge of the Bible, but that knowledge did not convert them. They only, they only convinced by the truth, but not converted. Why? Because they only approached the Bible to be benefited mentally and not spiritually. So for us to avoid hypocrisy, we should prepare our hearts. Another second point is that for us to be benefited not only by the study of the Bible, but for us also to avoid deception, we should prepare our hearts. Because if you read in James chapter 1, verse 22, James says, A man who studies the Bible, who only hears the, who only hears the truth, yet does not put it into action, or does not practice the truth he, he knows, is deceived. This man, he beholds himself, in the mirror and he sees his true condition yet does nothing about what his condition this person knows what is right yet he doesn't do anything about his knowledge of that which is right so this person does not leave the truth he knows therefore the bible describes this person to be what to be deceived because he's only taking the approach of mental 
benefit and not spiritual benefit. So for us to avoid hypocrisy, for us to avoid deception, we have to prepare our heart. And thirdly, the condition of our heart itself, it requires preparation for the love of God to impact it, for the love of God to transform it, for the love of God to make a change in our hearts. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 says, The heart above all things is what? It's desperately wicked. And it is deceived already. So, the state of a fallen man's heart requires preparation before we embark on studying the Bible. Before we want to know God's will, we should prepare this wicked heart of ours. This heart of ours that is already deceived. The Bible says, Thy way have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Psalms chapter 119 verse 11. So, we treasure God's word in our hearts. We hide God's word in our hearts that we may not sin against him. Therefore, we have to prepare our hearts to treasure God's word. That God's word may be a tool to fight against temptation. May be a tool to avoid the forces of evil and that we do not disobey the Lord. So, we have to prepare our hearts. Another point why we should prepare our hearts is because... The heart is the center of everything, especially the spiritual work, the spiritual life. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the, what? Are the issues of life. The issues of our life will not be addressed properly by the Bible if we do not prepare our heart. So for God to address the, our, our condition, the issues of our life, we have to prepare the heart. And if you read Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, the Bible says, The heart, the heart is revealed, the heart is exposed by the word of God. The word of God reveals the intentions of the heart. So, when we study the Bible, we without preparation of the heart, our condition will not be revealed. Our condition will not be exposed. We will not know what is wrong with us. Therefore, we are not going to have the experience of David, which is God searching us, which is God finding anything evil in us, finding anything that is not right within us. So, for us to be benefited by the study of the Bible, for us to walk out from our devotions, from our study time of the Bible, knowing what to do, knowing what we must do in regards to our spiritual life, knowing what we must change in our life, knowing how we should live, we must prepare our hearts or else we are not going to be benefited by the study of the Bible. Another reason why we should study the Bible is this one. Ezra chapter 7 verse 10, it says, Ezra prepared his heart to seek the Lord. And the Bible says further that after seeking the Lord, he went to teach the word of God. So when we prepare our heart before we study the Bible, the end result is that we are going to seek the Lord. The end result is that we are going to seek to obey the Lord as Ezra obeyed the Lord. As Ezra prepared his heart to obey the Lord. The reason why many a times we study the Bible, we study the Bible, yet we are not changed, is because we have not prepared our heart. But if we prepare our heart, when we study the Bible, we are going to be stirred to keep the love of God. We are going to be stirred to search God. Perhaps you are struggling spiritually, yet you are a student of the Bible. And you wonder, why am I not growing spiritually? Why am I failing to overcome sin? Why am I failing to thrive spiritually? It is because you are, not you, are, you are not preparing your heart before you study the Bible. You study the Bible, yet your ways are contrary to God's will. You are failing to prepare your heart. So therefore, prepare your heart so that when you study the Bible, you like, just like Ezra, sought after God, you will seek after God. You will want to know how to live 
what you read. You want to know how to put in action what God has revealed to you when you're studying the Bible. Now, how do you prepare your heart? I know you're waiting for this one. How do I prepare my heart? Number one, pray. Pray that God may reveal his will unto you. Prayer is a symbol of dependence upon God's word to reveal his will unto us and to reveal his wisdom unto us. So it is for this reason we must pray. The Bible says that only the Holy Spirit can reveal the deeper things of God. It is for this reason you must pray that God's Spirit can reveal the wisdom that God wants you to have upon studying His Word. And number two, have a humble approach to the Bible. Set away your preconceived ideas, your opinions about what is truth, and be ready to be taught. Be ready to be instructed. Have a humble attitude towards the study of the Bible. So be humble. Set away your pride. And thirdly, thirdly, be ready to put in action or to practice what God is going to reveal to you. God does not reveal truth because he has nothing to do. God reveals truth that we may live according to his will. So, pray, have a humble attitude, prepare your heart to live what you want God to reveal unto you. And when you, when you implement all these basic principles, you are going to have a fruitful study of the Bible. So I believe from now on you are going to prepare your heart before you study the Bible. May God bless you as you implement this truth that will help you to have a spiritual experience with God that's going to benefit you and others.